Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 241. That is, what is alpha phase of software? Let me answer. So, what is the alpha phase of the software? There are several phases of the software through which it goes through. Okay, while the software is under development or during the software is getting released into the market or while the software is getting released into the market, software goes through several phases. So what are those several phases of the software which it goes through? They are pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase of software. Then after pre-alpha phase, we have alpha phase. After alpha phase, we have beta phase. Then release candidate phase, RC phase. And finally, we have stable phase that is GA, general availability. Phase. These are the several phases of the software which it goes through during the development and during or while releasing into the market. Fine. So, what is alpha phase then? As you can already see, alpha phase is the second phase of the software, right? Alpha phase is the second phase of the software. First phase is pre alpha phase. After pre alpha phase, we get the alpha phase. So, what happens during this alpha phase? In alpha phase, the formal software testing starts okay testing starts in the alpha phase guys okay in which phase of the software the testing starts in the alpha phase the testing will start okay that means all the levels of testing guys okay not only one type of testing all the types of testing it may be unit testing integration testing system testing user acceptance testing all those types of testings will start in the alpha phase okay you see here Developers will perform in alpha phase. Developers will perform unit testing and integration testing. Whereas software testers will perform system testing. Whereas last level of testing that is user acceptance testing also will be performed in this alpha phase. That is only alpha testing as part of user acceptance testing. You already know that under user acceptance testing, there are two types of testing that is alpha testing and beta testing. But beta testing will not be performed here in this alpha phase. Okay, in alpha phase, as part of user acceptance testing, only alpha testing will be performed. But who will be performing the alpha testing? Who will be performing the alpha testing? The client side business people. Okay, the client side business people who has the knowledge of the business of the application well and who actually know the needs and actual requirement of the uh, like actual use of the software by the end users. Okay, so what are the actual uh, like what exactly the end users are expecting? What have, what are the needs of the uh, software from the end users or what are the expectations of the uh, software from the end users these people will know from the client side some business people will be there okay they will be doing some whatever it is surveys or whatever it is. they will be interacting with the end users and they will know that these are something that users are user is needing from the software or expecting from the software okay such kind of people will be performing the alpha testing okay to see whether the developed software is according to the user needs and expectations or not okay and this alpha testing as i already covered in the previous sessions as part of this series as part of another interview question okay will be done at the developer site okay so wherever the developers are there this client side business people will go with the checklist of uh, the user needs and expectations and they will work with the developers uh, to make them uh, modify the software according to the user needs and expectations even here software testers also have to play a part in alpha testing to see whether whatever the developers have done the changes are working properly or not okay according to the client that business people checklist items whether the developers have developed the software or not again software testers have to perform testing okay anyhow alpha testing is performed by client side business people okay to see whether the developed software is meeting the needs and expectations of the end users okay so here here at the end of the alpha phase all the features will be completed guys okay once the client side business people checklist is properly developed and properly tested by the developers and testers, okay, that 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 proves that all the features of the software are completed. Okay, the the software is ready now. Okay, the software is ready. But what happens in pre-alpha phase? Here testing will not start. Okay, testing starts in the alpha phase. That is the second phase of the software. The testing starts. But in pre-alpha phase, only the development will start. It's the first phase of software. Pre-alpha phase is the first phase of the software as covered in the previous session of this series. Okay, where developers just started developing the software with the help of the requirements or whatever the documents they have. Okay, here testing is not started yet and software is not released into the market. Here also in alpha testing, okay, software is ready. Software is complete, but it is not released into the market. 
okay here also in alpha phase the software is not released into the market so hope guys you understood what is alpha phase of software okay here formal testing starts until alpha testing testing will be performed from unit testing integration testing after system testing till alpha testing only testing will be performed and the we can state that the software is ready okay here beta testing is not yet done okay so in alpha phase so hope guys you understood what is alpha phase of software so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye